All right, Shalom. 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 We're the brothers out of Great Millstone, Atlanta. I'm the brother Iraq. The brother I know. I'm the brother Zakaria. Uh, back at you with another lesson uh, through the Spirit and Power of Yahweh by Shimei Shai. But before we get started, we would like to give all praise, glory, and honor to Yahweh by Hashem, Yahweh by Hashem, Chakwadash. Also, like to give double honors to our elders <clears throat> and apostles at Great Millstone. I want to say peace, safety, much love, and blessing to the occupant across the four corners of the earth that are pushing out this truth and truth and sincerity and putting their lives on the line to do so. I want to say shalom to you, brothers. Um, so we're just going to get right into it, man. Uh, we have a few articles here pulled up, a couple of precepts, and Lord willing, you know, it's edifying. You know, we just want to continue to uh, uh, warn the people and feed the flock of Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shai uh, with these lessons. So here we have the global uh, protest tracker pulled up. And as you can see, uh, to the left, it says over 400 significant anti-government protests have been erupted, world, have erupted worldwide. More than 132 countries have experienced significant protests. 23% 20, of significant protests have, last, have lasted uh, more than three months, hmm. all right? And out of those 400 uh, significant anti-government protests and more than 132 countries that have significant protests, do you believe America is included in that number? No, all right? And why is that? Because America is that virgin daughter of Babylon, all right? Mm -hmm. It hasn't been touched uh, uh, as of yet, but we're here to tell you as uh, prophets of Yahweh Shem Yahweh Shai and those watchmen that it's coming, all right? And it's been foretold and prophesied from the uh, prophets of old, you know, even unto this day, we, we're bringing it out that America, while it may be uh, the so-called land of the free and the home of the brave, a place that you can come and, and, and just do and be whatever the hell you want to be. Mm -hmm. You know, it's like a, a fucking melting pot of, 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 of nationalities here. And this is supposed to be, hey, motherfuckers treat America like it's uh, the kingdom of heaven. Mm -hmm. All right? And that's the type of mindset they walk around here with, with their head in the clouds, you know, their ass, uh, their head up Esau's ass. You know, thinking that this motherfucker can't be touched. Mm -hmm. So it's four hundred over four hundred conflicts around the world going on now, and not one of those are here in America. Because if we scroll down, oh, here's another stat. It says 135 significant economic anti-government protests have occurred since 2017, mm. and it hasn't happened in America, even through the uh, uh, through the pandemic. You know, people wasn't in uproar about losing their fucking job. Why? Mm -hmm. Because America bailed them out and yeah. sent them stimulus checks. If I can say the mm -hmm. only protest on that chart, if you go to all, would probably be that George Floyd protest during the year what twenty twenty. Yeah, a mm -hmm. nigga getting kneeled on. One, yeah, one one knee, one one Jake getting kneeled on. Y'all took to the streets, but when when the pandemic happened, it was quiet as a mouse. Right. Know? Mm -hmm. So let's get that precept of the unwalled village. I'm mean, okay. Salaki, not the unwalled village, but the virgin daughter of Babylon, Babakasha. All right, this is uh, Isaiah 47, verses 1. And at the top of the blue letter Bible says, Lament for Babylon. It says, Come down and sit in the dust, O virgin daughter of Babylon. Sit on the ground, there is no throne. O daughter of the Chaldeans, for thou shalt be no more, thou shalt no more be called tender and delicate. Mm -hmm. Hey, America is going to be no uh, more longer called tender and delicate because this place is going to be touched, man. When, when um, World War Three pop off, you know, um, but before then, you know, you're going to have Jacob's trouble. Um, you still got the chip to be pushed. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, America on this map is going to be lit up like a fucking, uh, like, like a night on the town, man. That's right. You know, it, it has zero dots right now. But all of these dots are going to be focused on America in that day. Because even their, even according to the scriptures, even their allies, Salakia, are going to turn on them. Mm -hmm. All right? And, and those missiles are going to be shot over here in America uh, from every which way. And these are active protests now. As mm -hmm. you can see the tabs, it has all active, so on and so forth. 
These are all the act of protest right now. America and the Americans and you niggas that subscribe to the uh, to the wine of Babylon, you're completely at ease right now. Yeah. You don't think anything's gonna happen. Tomorrow is gonna go on as 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 usual. Mm -hmm. You know, the next week is gonna continue as usual, mm -hmm. and you're gonna be able to continue to live uh, uh, deliciously over here in America. But that's not gonna happen, man. You know. If I could say uh, in Isaiah 47 and one, where it says, "Come down and sit in the dust." We know that the dust represents confusion. And there's a great amount of confusion here mm -hmm. in America to where the average American is not looking up this website. You know, they're, they're more focused on with Stephen A. Smith or Skip. Uh, uh, what was that guy? Shannon Sharp, a.k.a. Shay Shay, got to say about <laughs> yeah. the, the current NFL playoffs. <laughs> and you got Black History Month coming up in February. Mm -hmm. We just passed Martin Luther King. It's a bunch of confusion here. Mm -hmm. To where people aren't even paying attention to what's going on around the world, and they can't see that it's going to shift westward to Babylon the Great. Right. You um, got, it. <laughs> like you said before, we cut on the camera. The biggest conflict right now in America is who's going to win the Cowboys and goddamn Forty uh, Niners game. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. You know. Yeah. You got it, Zakari. Oh, Con, I had a, um, also a quick precept. Uh, I'm gonna actually put it on here. Uh, it's gonna be Jeremiah 50. Let me see. Bear with us for one second. Let me get on the screen. It's Jeremiah 50, starting at verse 9. Since um, we're speaking on this, is um, Jeremiah 50 and 9. For, lo, I will, ra I will um, raise and cause to come up against Babylon an assembly of great nations from the north country. Now, we're going to apply it to Babylon the Great, all right, which through the reincarnation is it's really the Roman Empire, which is America today, okay? Continue on knowing. It says, and they shall set themselves in array against her. From thence she shall be taken. Because remember, a virgin is technically not taken. Mm -hmm. Okay? But in this case, it being taken is it's being taken through plagues, all right, which the ultimate plague was those missiles that the brother was speaking on. And it's about to get into that. Continuing on in verse 9, it says, their arrows, there it is right there. Now, that's a metaphor, okay? Those arrows are really talking about the missiles as well. And how do we know that? If you go to um, Ephesians, where it talks about um, <coughs> escaping judgment, the only way is through the Lord, just roughly paraphrasing. When you go to that word, um, let me see, since I mentioned it, Ephesians 6, give me a second, Ephesians 6, Bear me one second. Come on, Ephesians 6 and 10. Uh, la, uh, let me see. Here it is right here. Ephesians 6 and 16. It reads, above all, taking the shield of faith, wherewith ye shall be able to quench all the fiery darts of the wicked. So just to um, tie things together, when you go into that word dot, it goes into uh, javelin, arrow, and missiles, mm -hmm. which is balos in the Greek. So just to tie things together, those same arrows or those same missiles that the scriptures is talking about, which is Yahweh Bashim Yahushai, it says, shall be as of a mighty expert man, none shall return in vain. Yeah, so once those missiles get shot over here, those arrows, none, none is going to just turn around in vain or just stop working. All right, remember, the Lord, Yahweh Bashim Yahushai, that the whole the world in it called God and Jesus Christ, spirit is going to actually be on those missiles for the job to be done, man. Okay. But that was it on that um, Jeremiah 9. Okay. You got some uh, you want to add? Um, yeah, because, you know, you got this video that's circulating <coughs> right now. You know, a lot of brothers are doing response videos to the uh, elder Manata Zagba from South Carolina. You had this Edomite that was saying, well, America, we're not going to see any destruction for another 20 uh, generations or what or whatnot. We mm -hmm. got the F-15, F-16. We got this and that. Okay. Well, well hold on, homeboy. It didn't. Years ago, there was a Russian uh, submarine spotted off the coast of Maryland. So, hey, your pride and the pride of the heart have deceived you. Even mice, like it mentions in Obadiah, they, they, the inward thought is that this place is going to continue forever. But we're here to tell you otherwise, because hey, us telling you of your demise is good news for us. It's good news for us because it's one day closer to the kingdom of heaven. We ain't got to be clocking in no more. 
and paying rent and paying bills and being subject to payments anymore. The time of the Gentiles is going to be fulfilled. Man. Just to prove your point, you know. So that we're we're at that time right now where these prophecies are speaking, man. But we're 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 telling these people we're telling our people day in and day out of the judgments that's befallen these other countries. But it's going to come to Babylon, and suddenly, like it says, suddenly the storehouse is suddenly empty. Mm -hmm. The eggs are already what ten dollars a carton now. Yep. I don't even eat eggs no more, man. Like, this, is, this is no point. Maybe, maybe one of these. Maybe next week, I get some eggs, man. But like, you know, we come into a time where, man, these people have no. Our people, the so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans, like the officer said, they have no clue what's going on. They more concerned with what Debo Samuel gonna do on the field against the Cowboys coming up this weekend, man. Mm-hmm. Yeah, and uh, we just went back to that Ephesians just to um. Back up to Brother Point um, about that word dark um, in Ephesians, uh, what's that? Six and, six, six and 16. There you see it there. It says a missile, mm -hmm. dark, javelin, arrow. All right. So that's synonymous with, you know, America being touched, you know, with those missiles. Mm -hmm. um, let's go back to uh, the map. Oh well, yeah, right here. If I can say something on that map too, mm -hmm. this let you know that um, the scriptures are true. But the uh, scriptures also say, "What Lord, I come in the volume of a book." So the words of Yahweh by Shemiah is true. Look up, look at over here in America right now. You don't see nothing. Mm -hmm. It's not touched. All right. This 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 is that great whore, which is a version. Okay, who's deceiving the whole earth right now, man? Yeah. Hey, and imagine you drinking the wine or the fornication of America. And you got all these conflicts going on in your, in your country, but yep. the person that gave you the wine ain't got shit going on over there. You feel deceived. That's like the uh, protest going on over there in Iran, where you have a lot of these women that want to be westernized. Yes. You had a you had a chess player that took off her hijab. Now she can't go back to the country. Mm -hmm. Two three months ago, you had the anti hijab protest where women were trying to look like these American women with these short dyke looking haircuts, mm -hmm. cutting off their hair. Right. All right, and they actually put some of those people to death over there in Iran, man. Mm -hmm. So like, like what you were saying is true. Like, the philosophies. Hey, that that script. You know, if I get the scripture, yeah. Come on. What's Let's look for it. In uh, Jeremiah fifty-one and verse seven, because I think that's the one where it talks about the the, the, the nations of drunken over wine, therefore yep. the nations are mad. Yep. Come on, I'll read it for you, bro. I'm here. This is um Jeremiah. Jeremiah, excuse me, fifty-one and verse seven. Babylon have been a golden cup in the Lord's Yahweh hand mm -hmm. that made all the earth drunken. The nations have drunken of her wine. Therefore, the nations are mad. Let's not be talking about Babylon. It's not talking <clears throat> about the Vatican. Everybody wants to come here. Mm -hmm. I even told y'all brother before camera, off the camera, I got, I had a, you know, a little homeboy or whatever. He lives in South America now. He came up here because he, <laughs> he wanted to he wanted experience Babylon the Great. Right. This nigga talking about Wendy's. McDonald's, <laughs> you know. Oh four. man, y'all got twenty-four hour fast food. Yeah, y'all got this, y'all got that. The oh, Vatican is not God. offering all these avenues where you can get food at one o'clock in the morning. Yes, mm -hmm. you can get it sent to your door at one o'clock in the morning. All right, these other nations are taking on these philosophies like women driving. Mm -hmm. Even in Saudi Arabia, they don't. It, to this day, they're yeah. still trying to go against women right. driving. Man, bitch, again, educated. Yeah, then then you got the LGBTQ movements moving into countries like India, mm -hmm. where they they're legalizing uh, marriage between a man and a man. Mm. So these other nations have drunken of those wine, that philosophy, starting with that democracy, man. Because Esau will come in, well, we got to save these people. Yeah, they come in and that take propaganda. Propaganda. Mm. Look what happened to Libya. You went in there, bombed the shit out of them. Excuse mm -hmm. my Brazilian Portuguese. In the name of gold, they say, oh, we're not we're not dealing with the dollar no more. Bam. So this this philosophies are spread to different parts of the world. Now these nations are fed up they, they, to the point where like you even got women on the other side talking about these westernized women. That's how bad it's gotten to. Yeah, yeah. You had a um, old girl that went back to Saudi Arabia. Um, she she just came back from over here. She went back to her home country and de decided that she wanted to be a Christian. She got put to death. Yeah. It was a um, public example. Mm -hmm. Right. So you, yeah, so you got all these protests and uproars and things going on while you got this virgin sitting back untouched mm -hmm. that's feeding you these philosophies that's making the people protest and being in the uproar. Mm -hmm. But because because before America 
put their stamp on the world and start, you know, uh, pushing their ways and their philosophy and this whole democracy BS, these other countries, man, they were at peace, you know. <coughs> but we all know that all of this playing out is a uh, part of uh, prophecy mm -hmm. because the scriptures tell you um, uh, what it says. Um, Woe to them that uh, uh, Salakia um, about vict victuals being so good cheap that oh, they think themselves to being good case. Second yeah. as a sixteen. Uh huh. We got you got that already. Yes, right. Yeah. Yeah. Because yeah. um, right America here. think they're in good case right now, man. Because ain't really nothing going on, you know. And we already read that they were. Uh, this is the unwalled village, and you got simple-minded jakes that done bought into this system you know because hey this wine in america is strong man mm -hmm. we were once a part of it all right but we've coming out of that we were once gentiles man a gentile state of mind mm -hmm. following the way of the heathen yep. but you still got bonehead jakes that are tied into america that's going to meet the same fate as america because they're settled on their leads man mm -hmm. all right because <laughs> like the brother said, you can get 24-hour food. You can get Instacart delivered to you. You ain't even got to go to the grocery store no more. Yeah, you can marry a rock if you wanted to. Yeah, bro. It's just anything goes in this bitch. And Jake think that this, man, to certain Jakes, this is their kingdom of heaven. Mm -hmm. They don't want America to be destroyed. These niggas riding around in these foreigns. Mm -hmm. yeah. You know, yeah, Bitch, Sean made a song when he, uh, when he made that song, um, Blessings on Blessings on Blessings. Yeah, see? Nigga think they got blessings on blessings on blessings in this bitch. Well, you, you, hey, look at these passport bros, man. <laughs> passport bros. They gonna, you gonna catch hell in every country that you go to, man, but they want their little consolation. They want to be able to make their money here in America mm -hmm. and then shift it east back eastward. No, it don't work like that. You still... Uh, the, the scriptures say the earth has been given to uh, the hands of the wicked. Mm -hmm. So no matter where you go, are people still... Suffering hell. That's why we out here doing these lessons and going to the highways and byways, pleading the Lord to get us out of this worst case scenario. Doesn't matter if you go to Thailand, you still gonna be a nigga over there. Yeah, the mm -hmm. curse is gonna be on your ass. Yeah, yeah, you still gonna be a curse and a reproach until the Lord delivers you. That's right. You yeah. know. Yeah. So this is uh the book of Second Edris, uh sixteen and twenty one. It says, "Behold, victuals shall be so good cheap upon earth." that they shall think themselves to be in good case. And even then shall evils grow upon earth, sword, famine, and great confusion. Mm. Ooh, if I can say, I was a part of that uh, great confusion. Um, when the when the C-19 came out, a lot of people was like, hey, you know, I can trust in it. You know, I can get the, get I can get like five boosters, you know? <laughs> and next thing you know, they publicly doing a live stream Talking about how they got Bell's Parsley and stuff, man. Doing the Harlem Shake. Mm -hmm. <laughs> oh, oh, they have a, you know what's bad when they have a documentary that's actually called, uh, what, what, Drop Suddenly? Yeah, we'll, or just dead say, we'll, suddenly. Say, we'll say it like that. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, yeah. Like Some, yeah Drop they, Suddenly. Yeah, they drop suddenly. They drop to the ground. Where, where, you think, where you think that madness and confusion is from? The ultimate deceiver, the devil, man. Mm -hmm. Dude, we are living, we are experiencing the beginning and actually seeing you know, great signs of great confusion. The people don't know who to go to. The people don't know who to turn to. Mm -hmm. But then you have the apostles of Great Millstone all the way up down, all right? Our apostles and the elders of Great Millstone, who's been telling you guys week in and week, week out on what to do, how to do it, mm -hmm. how to get right. Right. Straightforward, no confusion. Right. But you guys love mm -hmm. living in your confusion, man. Right. Hey, man, and when that uh, pandemic hit, you really seen mm -hmm. how confused America was. Well, maybe mm -hmm. you should put a mask on. Maybe you should put two. Don't wear it when you next to your uh, your significant other. Mm -hmm. uh, stand six feet apart. No, nah, it's eight feet apart. Yeah. Uh, get a jab. Yeah. Don't get the jab. Or uh, if you don't have this, the the the, the H. Uh, excuse me, the S H O T. Mm -hmm. Then you're fired. Right. And now people are getting sued. <laughs> Look, it's it's almost three years till it's January 2023. Right. This shit happened in January. What? They happened in what March twenty twenty, right? Yeah. These people are still confused to where they, they got to wear a mask or stand six feet apart. <laughs> you right. These people are, are just right. so in a wacky and weird state. They don't mm -hmm. even know how to interact with people. Like you try to go to yeah. the store. Yeah. Hey, how you doing? Yeah. They're yeah. just like yeah, standoffish, just and weird. zombified, standoffish, weird. So it's like we come in sometimes with great confusion, man. You don't know what's on these people's mind. 
these people are ready to die. Yeah, that's yeah. all. That's all it comes down to. Mm-hmm. And we trying to live, man. That's right. Yep. Yep. All right. Second Ezra sixteen and twenty two. For many of them that dwell upon earth shall perish of famine, and the other that escape the hunger shall the sword destroy. Mm. So this destruction and famine and pestilence that's coming, nobody's gonna be able to escape if you if you your name hasn't been written in the book of life. Yeah. You know, basically your ass is grass, man. Mm-hmm. Know which way you can turn. You ain't gonna be able to turn to to the government. You ain't going to be able to do any of that, you know? It's all going to be up to the Lord, man. Uh, Verse 23, And the dead shall be cast out as dung, and there shall no man, and there shall no man to comfort them, for the earth shall be wasted, and the cities shall be cast down. Yeah, uh, if I could say, it ain't going to be no trash, man, coming to pick up no trash. Ain't gonna be the plumber to come fix the plumbing. No funerals. It ain't gonna be no funerals. Mm-hmm. Ain't gonna be no uh, open caskets or funerals. Mm-hmm. It's gonna be an open and shut case, man, in these last days. And then what Esau's, he's gonna have this, uh, what, what's the term, man? Um, um, damn, it's, it's a term, sudden, it's sudden execution, basically, where like the judge and the jury's gonna be out here in these streets, man. Mm-hmm. All right? And they, they're bringing back these draconian laws to where if you don't take the jab, you're facing jail time. Yeah. You, if you don't take the MOTB, you're facing death. Mm-hmm. We're, we're coming to them times, man. These cities are going to be casted down. Yep. There's yep. going to be nobody to keep up with it. It's not going, it's not going to be able to buy a rap mixtape, mm-hmm. go to a concert, uh, go to the Braves game or uh, you know the uh, Falcons or Hawks game, go to the movies because... This whole society is going to get shut down. It's going to be doggy's dog out here, man. Yep, yep. But as you know, the importance of the name of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh is our true Lord and Savior, okay? And that lets you know the importance of repentance and getting right with the Heavenly Father because this go around. Like the scripture says in 2 Ezra 15, he is not going to hold his tongue no more, man. Right. Okay, so, hey, he's a power of judgment, a demon like power, um, Alasaja, man. So, this go around, which is our final captivity. All right, Lord willing, we'll be a part of that number. But this go around, and hey, we're going, the world's going to see something that the world has never experienced or saw before, man. Yeah. You know? But that's pretty much all I had to Cut. say. Yeah, bro, is there anything? Uh, yeah, we had something, but you can go ahead. You got some? Yeah, this is uh, a second, second verse nine. nine verse one. He right. answered me right. then and right. said, right. Measure it out of the time diligently in itself, and when thou seest part of the signs pass. Which I have told thee before, then shalt thou understand that it is the very same time wherein the highest will begin to visit the world which he made. Therefore, when thou shalt be seen earthquakes and uproars of the people, mm-hmm. then shalt thou well understand that the Most High spake of those things from the days that were before thee, even from the beginning. So, like, yeah, you know, you got earthquakes, you can go to basic Google searches on. Earthquakes daily. Mm-hmm. We already brought up the article about the uproars of the people, man. Mm-hmm. You know, they even had uproars on, on your beloved Christmas out there in France, man. Mm-hmm. You got protests out there in Peru that's still ongoing. You know, it, just because you don't see it and you right. don't do the due diligence to look it up, don't mean it ain't, it ain't going, going on. on nigga. Oh, prime example. See, this is spirit. We keep talking about the C19. All right, even in 2019. We already knew that it was over there in um, China mm-hmm. when it was claiming that it came from bats and yeah. did, or or from the things that they're eating over there and stuff like that. Mm-hmm. And we was already in the mindset like, oh, this thing is going to come over here yeah. and touch this oh, place. Yeah. Yeah. You know, we're going to have to be prepared, you know. But the spirit already had a plan mm-hmm. to where brothers got out of it. Mm-hmm. But as for you people, man, you guys didn't have no clue. You guys were going to your college parties. You guys were going to your rave parties. Whatever the hell you into, that's what you were doing. And, and boom, suddenly it came and, and it changed your whole life. Yeah. And to this day, man, some people lost their businesses, their jobs, okay? A lot of people that they knew, gone, back to the spirit world, man. Mm-hmm. All right? So when the Lord, the only begotten son, Yahweh shall come back as a thief in the night, come on, man. You guys going to be caught with your, um, you, you, I'm just saying this, you guys going to be caught naked, yeah. all right, and wickedness. It's going to be like the thief in the night because, you know, they already <clears> said, 
They already said the authorities, the World Economic Forum, Kill Gates, they already said it's going to be a second pandemic. So get ready to put the mask back on. Mm -hmm. They're already releasing this cracking. Y'all need to go ahead and get it cracking and release the cracking, man. All right, there's different variants that's out here that they, Esau, Esau just need to go ahead and push it, man. You know what I'm saying? Because it's all this speculation. Because if he, when he knows he makes his move, man, the Heavenly Father's going to checkmate his ass, man. You know, all these moves that Esau tries to do is, is backfiring. He had, he had a chance, he had time, he still got time to pull off the C-19 right now. Right. He still can claim C-19 for, you know, but he, he moving on to the next one. Oh, this failed. Mm-hmm. You know, because Esau, I mean, oh, the description say the deceiver and deceiver are his. Like, the Lord exactly. got his guy to trick back, man. Yep. Mm-hmm. Yep. Where we at? You done with that second Ezra's nine? Uh, I'm going to go to verse four. Come on. Second Ezra's nine and four. Then shalt thou well understand that the Most High spake of those things from the days that were before thee, even from the beginning. Come on. Go back to uh, second Ezra's 15. Um. I think it was in 16. You want to go to 15, though? Yeah, let's go to 15. Con. Baba Kashaw. And before we get into 15, let's read a little bit of that uh, article in Peru. This is just uh, one example of the protest that's going on right now. Uh, And this is highlighted on the map, too. Hey, but Jake's so ignorant. He not, like the brother said, he he ain't looking into stuff like this. He worried about... What uh, what America has to offer as far as you know bullshit and partying <coughs> mm-hmm. and folly. All right, you want to read a little bit of that? Kind of got you. It says, um, "I'm right here, by the way, for the viewers." It says, "Lima um, reutters Peru's capital Lima awoke on Friday to find one of the city's most historical buildings burnt to the ground after a night of fresh anti-government protests." That extended across the country as the president vowed to get tougher on uh, vandals or vandals. So, yes, man, that just lets you know hey, it's going down. I remember a couple of years ago, um, before the camera got turned on, me and the brothers was talking about it, how over there in South America, when they went against the um, government, so to speak, they tied the mayor, excuse me, the mayor on the back of a pickup truck with a rope. And they drug this ass down the concrete, man. <laughs> All right, so so we're gonna start shit. Even um the protest with with the whole knee thing with George Floyd, where they was burning up cops, throwing mazel, you know mazel tovs at cops, flipping the car cops over. You know them skateboard dudes was going in. Yeah, mm-hmm. if I can say this, bro, it's gonna be more racially motivated shootings in twenty twenty three. You you think that just went away too? You know, like we you know we we talking about Peru. We are gonna get back to the article, but. When another so-called black man, because they already, they already paint the narrative as always black people. Mm-hmm. Yeah, right. You got Native Americans that get shot more than the so-called black man. Or if you look up the statistics, but it's going to be an unarmed black man somewhere in the next few months <coughs> or the next year that's going to cause more, cause more outrage. Because, hey, like the scripture saying in Genesis uh, 49, who shall rouse Judah up? Mm-hmm. Judah's just docile right now. You get, you get Judah, and you get the other tribes too. You get these Latinos. And these Native Americans, the Dallas Cowboys, the <laughs> Pittsburgh Steelers, all right, you give them some baseball, you give them soccer season with a, a pack of uh, Tecate beer. They're not paying, these, these Hispanics are not paying attention. These Hispanics are so happy to get here, they not even know what's going on. Mm-hmm. And we're here to tell you, you can translate this to your, your Spanish and actually pay attention to what's going on, man. But our people, the, the scripture in Jeremiah 8 and 7 says, our people don't know the judgment of the Lord. Yep. They're waiting for Jesus Christ and uh, Buddha and Muhammad to do something. Right. Which they're not going to do anything at all. Mm-hmm. Hell, even over there in um, the Middle East, remember? They was casting their idols into the fire. We mentioned that yeah. last week at camp. Yeah, yep. two yep. weeks ago at camp. Yeah. So. Because the little, uh, yeah, little nigga, uh, what is his name? Kate. Yeah. 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 VJ. Yeah. VJ. Yeah. VJ. Yeah. 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 Nigga. And came back since, man. Right. Um, you was done reading this article? Up? Um, I can read this one. It says, um, mm-hmm. to finish it off, it says, A near-century-old mansion in central Lima was destroyed after catching fire. Authorities are investigating the causes 
and lamented, which we are in um, lamentful times right now, man. It says the loss of, of a monumental mon- monumental assist. Uh, asset. Asset. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Wow. Yep. Uh, let's see if it was a little bit more on there. The government rejected rumors that the fire. Yeah, we heard that more. Kind of. Shot. The government rejected rumors that the fire, which had no casualties, was caused by a tear gas bomb thrown by the police during the violent clashes. But even if it's true or not, you know, that still lets you know, hey, things are turning up as far as individuals catching their individual um, hell, man. All right? And they have the picture right there, so I don't know what that's all about. But it says um, the incident came after thousands of prost- um, excuse me, tongue twists, prost- protesters, excuse me, um, descended on Lama earlier this week, calling for sweeping change, and angered by the mounting death toll from the protests, which officially rose to 45 on Tuesday. So people are getting more and more angry and more and more um, crazier. Remember, we are we are in the times and our experience in times where people hearts is waxing colder and colder. So just like you know, when they saw one man get nailed to the ground, and lost his life, that was just what buzzed people out, man. Mm-hmm. They seeing a lot of people getting killed in these protests, and that's even rising Jake. That's over there, all right. Mm-hmm. But that was it on that. Con. This is our uh, second Edges fifteen and one. Behold, spake thou in the ears of my people the words of prophecy. Which I will put in thy mouth, thy mouth, saith the Lord, and cause them to be written in paper, for they are faithful and true. Fear not the imagination against thee, let not the incredulity, incredulity of them trouble thee that spake against thee. For all the unfaithful shall die in their unfaithfulness. So all you motherfuckers that don't believe that the things that we're speaking of, according to the scriptures, are going to happen. Over here in America, you will die in your unfaithfulness. Mm-hmm. You know, mm-hmm. verse five. Behold, said the Lord, I will bring plagues upon the world, the sword, famine, death, and destruction. Mm-hmm. And why? And, and why is that? Verse six explains. For wickedness have exceedingly polluted the whole earth, mm-hmm. and the hurtful, hurtful works are fulfilled. Therefore, therefore said the Lord, you you wanted to add. Oh, no, I was just going to say, um, clearly, we, j- we see all these things going on on the earth right now. You know, that's all I wanted to say. You know, yeah. you, can, you can see the, the sword being prepared for ultimate destruction. Mm-hmm. You can see uh, certain famines in other countries. Hell, you can tell that there's a beginning famine here, uh, excuse me, famine here in Babylon the Great, which is really America. You yeah. know, that's all, you know, I was just going to add to that. Huh. If you hover over these, will it tell you the conflict that's... Currently going on, or you yeah. gotta click it. I think if you click it, or Bangladesh, or if you just scroll down, down Bangladesh. Tell you what's going on, and how long it's been going down? Oh, okay. So let's do that. Let's go to the yeah, list. Yeah, give you just A through Z. Con. Oh yeah, they got yeah. So I'm gonna just read a few. Um, I don't even know what the hell that say. Is that Spanish? Oh, which these, one are you looking at? These first two. Oh, uh, Azerbaijan, that's in the Middle East. Mm-hmm. And then you got Bangladesh, I think that's Southeast Asia, yeah. if I'm not mistaken. You no, know I'm saying the name of the protest. Uh, yeah. 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 <laughs> anyway, so. Right. Can Bo- keep it simple? Right. In Bolivia, <laughs> you got the census protest. Brazil, you got 2022 election protest. Wow. Uh, China, coronavirus restriction protest. Hell yeah. They got them so goddamn bad over there oh, in yeah. China. They got them yeah. niggas in cubicles. Oh, yeah. I seen yeah. them feeding them niggas through the door like they in Rutgers Island. Yeah, like it's a whole damn Planet of the Apes experiment or something. Right. Yeah, over there in Brazil, it's the same thing that's going on in Peru. They, they, this how like, this how like, like today I saw this bumper sticker that said Trump 2024. These Americans, they want that old thing back. These <laughs> people have, they have a reminiscent demon on them. Mm-hmm. That's how like they bring these concerts back with. Rick Ross and Trina and Trick Daddy and all these Jeezy from back in the day. And, <laughs> oh, you remember from, oh, yeah, back, you know, back, uh, it's all there with Bankroll Fresh. Right. You start having all these memories of good times. Mm-hmm. Even mentions that in Isaiah, the 32nd chapter, these people are thinking about their old president 
That's how like they thought of uh, Bolsonaro in Brazil. They want that old thing back. Just how like in Peru, they want that old president back. They want things to be up and up and they want everything to be copacetic. But the Lord is sending all these plays to let you know what time it is. And you, you, you Latinos down there, man, y'all got, like I keep saying, y'all got brothers down there to give y'all the word. J it's no cloak for your sins. J Jake has no excuse across the four corners of the earth in, in 2023, man. You got mm -hmm. a brother in Australia who's basically this public publishing for all the Australia and New Zealand because there's a lot of Jakes there too, man. So you can't say you, you that you didn't know and, we, and we're not telling you these things, man. That's right. Mm -hmm. Con, you got, in Ghana, you got the cost of living protest that started back in November. Mm -hmm. You got in Haiti, the same thing, cost of living protest. Um, you got Hungary, teacher protest. They protesting about teachers. some shit that, see, America, y'all ain't got to worry about certain shit. Mm -hmm. See, that's why niggas is, is comfortable over here. Mm -hmm. You know, niggas can go to another school. Yeah, like, and then if niggas low on money, what they doing uh, nowadays? Scamming, Scamming. trapping. Yeah. Yeah. You know, so Americans don't have to worry about some of the everyday uh, challenges that faces some of these other countries that are drunken off the wine that they ass is providing. You know, uh, you got dignity strike and protest. You got license plate protests. What? October movement. It, there's, there's some bullshit going on. Niggas is finding any reason to take to the streets. <laughs> not in America. Right, right but not here. Long Niggas is gearing up for the Super Bowl in a few weeks. Yeah, Super Bowl going to be here in February. As long as you can go to Wingstop or you know, <laughs> yeah. get some braised wings. Order get, some Papa John's. Order some Papa John's. You straight. Right. Yeah. Thin crust. That the people, the, these people are more worried about the Super Bowl commercials mm -hmm. than what's going on around the world. That's a goddamn shame, man. Mm -hmm. Another cost of living protest in Panama. You but then, if I could say too, you see, even in the suburbs, homeless people off the highway. You see homeless people living yeah, right. next to the McDonald's, and they proud. They proud, <coughs> and, and, and that's not a problem here in America. You got people that's, you got these women, these strong, independent women. They're getting kicked out of their home. They're in these homeless shelters. The cost of food and the cost of living is going up. But like the officer said, people are still proud, man. Mm -hmm. they, they still got this, I can do it on my own spirit. I, I'll bounce. Because people have that demon. Just how like they think America's going to last. Well, I'll just bounce back, man. I'm good. Mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Like that, that's, that's the quintessential spirit of an American. Like, mm -hmm. we'll, we good. We'll bounce back. Or they going to send another STEMI out. Yeah. Yeah, peace and safety. Niggas getting ready for these tax refunds. Finna go crazy. About to get more Hellcats. You got, you got the Million Man March going on in Sudan. You got the Power Grab protest. Um, and that's just to name a few, man. So you got conflicts breaking on, uh, breaking out so like you all around the world except for America. All right? And, you know, the Lord said, When thou shalt say peace and safety, then sudden destruction shall come upon you. You know? And that's coming to America. So... I'm going to read a little bit more in second edges. You got something else, bro? No. I we probably can end out on, on a couple of these. Read but, a few um, more. I'm ready for you. You got it, bro. Con, what, what verse you want me to start at? Con. Second Ezra 15 and 8. I will hold my tongue no more as touching their wickedness, which they profanely commit. Neither will I suffer them in those things, in which they wickedly exercise themselves. Behold, the innocent and righteous blood crieth unto me, and the souls of the just complain continually. Mm -hmm. And that's why you see brothers putting up curses. That's why you see brothers simply just throwing up prayers, man. All right? Because we're constantly complaining about this place, man. Because we want out this place. Right. Who in their right mind want to live in a valley of shadow of death? You must be. But you got people out there who do. Nigga bugged out. Yeah. Like I said, they get their hair cats. As long as they can do more scheming than PPP loans, an a, a evil ass nigga is, is good, quote unquote. You know? right. Yeah. Go ahead. Verse, verse 9, it says, And therefore saith the Lord, I will surely avenge them and receive them unto me, which is the elect. It says, All the innocent blood from among them. Behold, my people is led as a flock to the slaughter, who is constantly slaughtering us day in and day out. Our main enemy, Esau, eat them. But then you got to watch out for the two thirds of our people because they follow after these heathens, man. So they're just like their, their um, quote unquote kings, man. The people they look up to, they're idols, all right? 
Verse 10, I will suffer them now to dwell in the land of Egypt. All right. Which is another way of saying basically bondage because this is bondage. All right. It says verse 11, but I will bring them with a mighty hand and with and stretch out arm. <coughs> excuse me. And smite Egypt with plagues as before. Yeah, and with, that lets you know that we're in the second Egypt like it mentions in Revelation 11 and 8. Yep. All right, because you had plagues in ancient Egypt, all right, that region of Africa, but this is symbolically a spiritual Egypt, man. This is where our Lord was crucified at. Most of our people, they're not even thinking about Yahweh, Shemel, or Shai. They're thinking about Jesus Christ. Mm -hmm. All right, our Lord was crucified, and this is Sodom. We live in this God-forsaken city, this God-forsaken state of Georgia, that's known for the sodomy. You got other places in San Francisco and Seattle, Washington, and New York and Miami. That's also known for sodomy, man. Yep. So we're we're the, that the scriptures say there's no there's nothing new under the sun. No kind. Beautifully explained, man. We read in verse eleven. It says, But I will bring them with a mighty hand and a stressed out arm, and smite Egypt with the players as before, and will destroy all the land thereof. Let, let's skip down a little bit, uh, and then we can close out. Um, Tomorrow we'll, we'll talk about what verse fifteen, verse four. Start at fourteen, Bob. Second Ezra fifteen and verse fourteen. Woe to the world and them that dwell therein. So mm -hmm. none of these things sound good, man. Unless you know there's a great destruction coming. It says woe to the world. All right. It says for the sword and their destruction draw of nine, and one people shall stand up. To fight against another, you can clearly see that that's going on today. It is going to get intensified. All right. Yeah, I can say too, man. All this alpha male <laughs> stuff that it, this psyop stuff that they put on the internet, it's called division between men and women, man. Because yeah, red what, pill, MGTOW, gender yeah, war, yeah. yeah, and all that crap that have be having people looking at their phone all day, and you're gonna have a, the wrong guy that's gonna take this stuff the wrong way. Or the wrong woman that's going to take it the wrong way. Mm -hmm. And then you're going to have all types of gender wars, civil wars, racial wars. Like I said, Jake, y'all still in this docile state of mind. This this man's the devil. Mm -hmm. There's going to be more instances of so-called black people getting shot down for no reason. They're going to start targeting you black women. I've seen videos of black women. You know, because it ain't no reason why a cop is going to just beat you up for no reason. Mm -hmm. All right, You got this video of this black woman probably running her mouth. Somewhere up there in the Midwest, mm -hmm. she got her ass beat. So a lot of you women, the description say, "Rise up, you women that are at ease, man." Yep. Well, we came out with the article last week at Count. Well, I believe what sixty thousand yeah. uh, women got murdered or and or suddenly disappeared. Sixty thousand. Some, something like that. Yeah. Just roughly paraphrasing it, but you know, just to add on to the brother point. Mm -hmm. Um, that was, that was it, Anna. Yeah, kind. Kind. Starting at verse. I believe it. I'm just reading verse 15. It reads, For the sword and their destruction draw of nigh, and one people shall stand up to fight against another, and swords in their hands. For these shall be sedition. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah, Salaki. The water. For there shall be sedition among men, men, and invading one another, and they shall not regard their kings nor princes, and the course of their actions shall stand in their power. Meaning when things start to come to the pipeline, so to speak, when there's when the law's being done away with and when, you know, your nine one one can't rescue you, you know, uh certain you know, anything, all right? The people's gonna get what they want. Again, they're gonna be kip kidnapping mayors, they're gonna be kidnapping more um people that works for the government, mm -hmm. whatever the case might be. And they just gonna do what the hell they wanna do, man. Yeah. And yeah, you saw that. Okay, you saw two instances where people are going to rebel. Mm -hmm. You saw last week with the FAA sharing that uh, shutting down certain flights, and then you had this week with Bank of America's people's accounts being disappeared. So what happens when you can't? <clears throat> these people can't fly. You can't get money at your bank account. Mm. You can't go to the grocery store. You can only if you go to the grocery store, you can only get limited items. They're already telling you that at Walmart, mm -hmm. you can only get four packs of chicken. Mm -hmm. right. You know, so we're coming to more draconian laws and more, hey, it's going to be another L down, if you know what we're talking about. You know what I'm saying? Esau's tripping up this carbon stuff. Everywhere you go, it's carbon this, carbon that. Mm -hmm. You know, so it might be a, um, 
not not a pandemic lockdown, but like a climate change lockdown, man. You know, so hopefully this is the year of all the prophecies coming to pass, man, because it's a lot of stuff is just looming out here in the air right now, man. You can, you can see it in the air, man, like that Beanie Siegel song. You can feel it in the air, excuse me. Yep, yep. Oh, I had this word pulled up right quick just for edification's sake. Let me press it again. Damn. Now, this is a simple Google uh, search on the word sedition. Uh, I'm just read the first definition they give right here. It says conduct or speech. It disappears it's like you. It's off. Just through. It says conduct or speech inciting people mm-hmm. to re- to rebel against the authority of a state or monarch. So yes, we're going to start to see more and more events take place like this, as we currently uh, see throughout history. Within our lifetime, man, we always saw people going against the grain. We always saw people going against authority. Now you got Jake. They saying, hey, if a cop got a gun and they pull me over, I'm pulling mine out. Right. You know, they in that mentality now. Like, hey, a gun for a gun, man. So we're going to start seeing some more wild, wild things out here, man. Yeah, and the only difference between over here and these other countries is you Americans, you'll protest and fuck shit up for a week or two. Mm -hmm. And then... You know, Daddy Esau give niggas some goodies, and they'll go back to being sleep, rock yeah. their ass right back to sleep within a week or two. Yep. Niggas forget what they was protesting about. Right, nigga. <laughs> That's all you see it over and over, man. Over here in America, it repeats itself. Mm-hmm. Niggas not really fucking shit up like they are mm-hmm. over in these other countries, man. When they're uh, upset about something the government is doing, mm-hmm. because government is big brother over here. Niggas love uh, Hell yeah. niggas love the government over here. Especially Every, the Israelite woman. Right. Every, everything that goes wrong, bro, they look into the government to fix it over here. Right. You know, um, scriptures tell you to woe to, to them that seek, seek counsel, but not of me. Yeah. Uh, yeah, how about Shimei outside is the last thing on these people's mind, man. You know? Mm-hmm. You want to say something? No. Nah, okay. You can continue on, bro. Okay, Khan, you want me to um, reread verse 16? Khan. Khan, the second Ezra 15 and 16. For there shall be sedition among men and invade on one another. They shall not regard their kings nor princes, mm-hmm. and the course of their actions shall stand in their power. Khan, read on. Khan, verse 17. A man shall desire to go into a city and shall not be able. Yeah, why you niggas think you finna be passport bros? You ain't even gonna be able to get out the city. <laughs> right. Yeah, you niggas might well forget that, or yep. you better get out now while you can. You better go local. <laughs> you better right. stay in the states. Right, right. Hey, because this shit is about to get ugly, man. All right, mm-hmm. it's about to get real ugly. And I know, um, you know, we we beating a dead horse, but that's the that's the duty of a prophet. You know, yep. we continue to to reiterate and bring these things out, man, because these things is just me to say before. Yeah. So until these things happen, we have to continue to, you know, prophesy these things. I was going to say, because the scriptures talk about this, these are the rivers of living water. Right. We, we yep. bring out the same second as it's 15, 16, mm-hmm. 6, <clears throat> 9, because every week there's some shit that's going down. Mm-hmm. It's just the All truth, right? yeah. You know what I'm saying? You got this stuff in Peru, Brazil, uh, Mongolia, <coughs> all these different countries, Liberia. It's the rivers of living water. The Lord has continued to prove that. He has a spirit of prophecy, man. Mm-hmm. And right. show us examples, too. Yeah. Yeah. Kind. It reads, um, verse 18, it says, water. it says, For because of their pride, the city shall be troubled, the houses shall be destroyed, and men shall be afraid. A man shall have no pity upon his neighbor, but shall destroy their houses with the sword. Now, what's the modern day sword? It's, it's the handgun, all right? Clearly, a lot of our people have guns in today's generation, man. All right? They're walking around with them inside gas stations, stores, you name it, man. A lot of jakes are strapped up. It says, um, continuing on verse 19, it says, And spoil their goods because of the lack of bread and for great tribulation. Mm-hmm. Ah, there it is right there. It says great tribulation. Right. So it's going to be a, a great, dreadful, heavy time. All right? And that day... When people's gonna gonna get down and dirty, man. All right. 
But um, that was pretty much it. Yeah, you can you can drop yes. that. We're gonna uh get a closing precept. You know, uh, you know, Lord willing, okay. uh, this lesson was edifying. <coughs> All right. Um, this is Romans thirteen and eleven. Romans thirteen. Just uh, shoot, basically a wake up call, man. Mm -hmm. you know, that's why we do these lessons to uh, warn the elect. You know, we ain't out here to save black people and the Mexicans. We out here to save the lost sheep of the house of Israel, man. That's right. So we're doing this for the elect, Lord, and we're part of that number as well. This is Romans 13 and 11, and that knowing the time, that now it is high time to wake out of sleep, for now is our salvation nearer than when we believe. Yep. Hey, so, you know, we're going to end it out on that because we know the time. That's why we continue to prophesy and tell you of these things that are gonna come. We know the time because we're watching the signs. All right, Matthew 24 clearly outlined what would be taking place in the, in the days uh, of, of the second coming or mm. things leading up to the second coming. And we're seeing it, you know, it, it's, it's plain as day to those that are in the know, all right? But to those that are, are, are asleep, that are in the dark, they thinking that America is gonna continue on forever. Mm -hmm. All right, but we know that that's not going to be the case. So in knowing that now, more than ever, is a high time to awake out of sleep, and take those uh those those blindfolds off, and see America and Esau, uh for what he really is, and to come up out of it, you know um, what did it tell you Michael two and ten to arise and depart for yeah. this is not our rest. All right, not passport bros getting up and leaving. All right. We're not talking about that kind of uh, uh, leaving. We're yeah. talking about mentally, mentally and f not physically, but mentally pulling yourselves out of this uh, stronghold, which is known as America, and get right because the day of the Lord is is surely approaching. That's all right. right. Yeah. And in that time, we want to be uh, found so doing, and we want to be found in righteousness and not get the same judgment as the wicked. Mm -hmm. All right. So knowing the time is a high time for us to wake out of sleep because our salvation is nearer than when we believe. All right. So if brothers ain't got any closing remarks, uh, we can go ahead and end it. Uh, Lord willing, the lesson was edifying. We're going to end it, you know, giving all praise, glory, and honor to Yahweh, Ba'ashem, Yahweh Shah, Ba'ashem, Chakwadash. Also double honors to our elders and apostles at Great Millstone. Shalom. Shalom. Shalom.